Today I'm talking to D&D's Ari Levich about the Guildmaster's Guide to Ravnica and the Boros Legion. They are so devout to the concept of justice that if they have to, they will even break the laws of Ravnica. The Boros Legion is, um, it is a military uh, faction inside of Ravnica. So essentially when when things get out of control, if it, it might be beyond you know, the scope of an Azorius you know, patrol, uh, the Boros Legion kind of takes it upon themselves uh, as a sort of organized uh, military order to take on these larger threats. And these larger threats may be things like a, a, a full-scale attack from another guild like the Gruul, which we'll, we'll talk about, but, um, or it might be you know, to take down some large monsters or even root out some corruption. Um, uh, among the other guilds. The big difference between the Boros and the Azorius is the Azorius is very much about the letter of the law, that the law itself matters more than, let's say, the overall concept of justice. The Boros, by contrast, are about the spirit of the law. They are really interested in, in this concept of justice being the highest good. So if a law is unjust, the Boros will break that in order to, to serve, essentially, the, uh, the common person. So the Boros are the ones that will run in and defend the people who can't necessarily defend themselves. The, the Boros, uh, they, they serve as a, uh, also as a kind of peacekeeping, peacekeeping faction, and they will keep peace by essentially dismantling anybody who would do violence against innocent people. And so, yeah, their biggest things are dealing with people who would take advantage of other people through, uh, just through exploiting them, or through physical violence, and they will, they will take them on. Um, and it really appeals to players who want to be, essentially, uh, they want to know that they are on the side of good, or want to really play that kind of a character. Um, uh, but now, again, with all of these guilds, you could play protagonist characters that really have their, you know, you know, that have their own sense of good or sense of justice, even if you don't want to play a good character. Uh, but they also could be, uh, the other side of that is that they could also be villainous. So the Boros taken too far can become uh, overly militaristic. They can become perhaps an occupying force in a part of the city. And so characters have to kind of balance that. So part of the fun of playing in Ravnica is when you're playing a character uh, from a particular guild, sometimes you have to navigate when your guild is doing something that you as a member of that guild finds or it's kind of is against your own sensibilities and how do you navigate that. Um, or it's about you as a Boros person who's just going to go into the ruins of the Rubble Belt because there is a, there's a big gruel uh, uh, incursion that's about to happen, and you're going to go and, and take that out. So it, being Boros is basically being very much about it being, uh, playing a character of action. And so there are you know, wizards that, uh, on the school of uh, like evocation, um, or you might have, there are a lot of paladins in, in the Boros and fighters, and very much people who will kind of take, uh, take the action to the threat. And if you want to be a reactive character, the Boros is probably not for you. Um, but if you like the idea of being part of a military order and uh, doing uh, what, what you believe is just, then yeah, Boros is, is going to be very appealing. Are there particular classes and races that are drawn to this? Yeah, so some of the, uh, the races that uh, gravitate toward the Boros are actually minotaurs. There's like a long military tradition of minotaurs uh, joining the legion. Um, there, are, there are humans. There are uh, goblins that will also join the legion. Not as common as humans or minotaurs, but goblins will, will join the legion. Okay. A huge thank you to Ari Levich for talking to us about the Boros Legion. You can find them in the Guildmaster's Guide to Ravnica. That book is available right now on dndbeyond.com. I'm Todd Kenrick, your host. Thank you so much for watching.